So how do you identify yourself as uh, in, in terms of uh, theological point of view? Are you Christian, atheist, agnostic, polytheist, satanist, what? Oh, you okay. <laughs> what? What's your religious point of view? Universe. Universe? So, so what? So, so for me, it's so uh, difficult to understand. So, I think I, I do what I do when I... What is it? This is a, a climbing. I am oh, okay. Do, yeah. do you believe this, this someone made it? Do you believe that? My, my religion is this part. That, good. Do you believe someone created this? Someone made it in a company? A company or a machine made this? made this right do you believe that okay you believe this bag has been created by someone right a company or some machine right so what about yourself do you believe your body is more complex than this bag do you agree i think is uh nature nature universe and nature is uh does the universe does the nature has uh, energy, some energy that is so so difficult to understand okay it is, it has so, come from randomness so you know Nature cannot create something. Nature itself cannot create something. The question is why? Because nature doesn't have the consciousness. Because if you don't have the consciousness, can you create something? You cannot. So the only sound reasoning is this. There's the someone. If you think, look at your eyes. Why your eyes is there? Why not in backside? Think about it. If your eyes is in backside in here, if your nose in leg, and if your mouth is here, what will happen? You need to see the food like this, there. You need to take the food on the leg to smell whether food is good or not. Then you need to take it on the mouth. Why it is so designed? It has a designer. Do you understand? What? Mister. what? Mystery. Mystery. No, no, mystery, you cannot explain the mystery because if you said the accident, then we, we should see someone who has nose in their hand by accident. I, I prefer uh, nothing, nothing believe uh, so, uh, than uh, believe in a false... Uh, uh, false God. Okay, so we are not talking about false God, we are talking about true God. One true God. There are 1,000 gods. No, we don't believe in 1,000 gods. Believe 1, gods. We believe one God. For example, it is impossible to have two true gods. You understand? For example, listen, listen. If I say there is three camera, yeah, there. And if he says there is no camera, can we be both right at the same time? No, we cannot because if I am right, he is wrong. Because he said there is no camera. Listen, listen, listen. He says there is no camera. And if I am wrong, meaning there is no camera, then he is right. So we cannot, both cannot be right at the same time. Because, which is contradictory statement. You understand now? So if you say thousands God, and I am saying one God, one God is right. Thousands God cannot be right. If we want to say, I mean, I mean... Uh, I, 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 I'm saying everyone says, that everyone makes a claim that their God is... Every religion... Uh, uh, religion, uh, members, religion. Okay. I, uh, religion. I have the two, I have the two, I have the two, I have the two. Excellent question. Okay, good, okay. good, good. I understand now. So you are saying everyone claims to be true. How do we understand who is true? Right? Which one is correct? That's your question, I think. Everyone has their argument. Okay, so. We've got to which argument is the truth? Okay, do you understand? Which argument makes sense? Which argument makes sense? Which argument goes with your sound reasoning, with your intellect? First of all, First of all, if you see Judaism, yes, go to the Judaism, that's the word Judaism believe. Judaism believe in one God, they believe in one God, Jewish people, yeah? They believe in one God, then they are rejecting Jesus and the Prophet, uh, Prophet Muhammad Islam, yeah? They reject two right, greatest prophet in the human history and accepting one God which is right. But at the same time, they are believing in a book which was Old Testament and we don't know who wrote the Old Testament. Are you with me? You understand? So if you don't know who wrote, the, who wrote this book, can you believe in this? No, you can't. Do you understand? For example, you are a student of medical science, yeah? You want to do the surgery. You have a patient, you want to do the surgery. I am giving a book. 
to how to do the surgery. But I am saying I don't know the writer. This writer is not a doctor. This writer is not something. So can you read the book and do the surgery? No. Because if you do the surgery from some unqualified, if you if you learn the surgery from unqualified books, then you will kill your patient. Do you understand? Because uh, yeah, uh, 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 I'm, I'm not very good in English. So Don't worry. Just, uh, just, uh, uh, okay. So, so you need to be take from the people who is qualified in medicine to understand the medicine, right? Because you, if you don't know the people who write the book, then there is probability that they will do the mistake and you will understand the mistake. Correct? Going back to the Old Testament, we don't know who, who wrote the Old Testament. So if we don't know who wrote the Old Testament, can I believe on it? No. So we don't know. Nobody knows who wrote the, who wrote the Old Testament. You see, then I cannot believe in it. According to the Old Testament, after you know creating this universe, he heaven and the earth, God take rest. Do you think God get tired? Yeah, God no. sleeps. God, God doesn't need to sleep. Yeah. God is not like you and me. God is above the creation, behind the creation. Do you understand? So Old Testament is saying that the God took sleep. Sorry, God was resting. God took rest. Yeah. So in Genesis it says God was God was taking rest. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't goes with the God. Do you understand? So goes Judaism is finished. Uh, uh, we see uh, if God exists when I will die. What? I uh, will see if God exists is when if I when I will die. Oh, brother, it might be too late. Wait, wait, wait. So if God exists, where you will die? That's the question. Yeah, I will see. I will see when I will die. So I don't, I don't think uh, I'll ask myself as a question. Good. So. If you die, then you see, and then you believe, it doesn't make any chance, you'll go to the eternal hellfire. Because you didn't believe the God when you need to believe. You are in this earth, when you are in the earth, yeah? when you are in your life, in human life, in the earth, then you should acknowledge the God. Because, think about it, can I, if I give you one million pounds, can you give me two eyes? Can you give me your two eyes, if I give you one million pounds? No, why not? Because ah, this, 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 is, this is very more. But you should give it because you didn't buy it. You were gifted. It was gifted to you. You didn't buy it. Your parents didn't buy it. You understand? Who gave it? The creator, the one who created you. Who gave, who gave you the oxygen? Think about it. If you don't have oxygen, you will die. Did you buy the oxygen? No. You are getting oxygen from automatically from the nature. Who gave the oxygen? The creator, the one. Who gave you the food? Think about it. If God stopped raining, can you get the vegetable? Can you get any fish? Can you get any meat? No. If you can't get vegetable, animal cannot take the grass. If there is no raining, there is no grass, there is no animal, there is no food, there is no vegetable, nothing, you will die. I think, I think everybody will go to the hell because no, nobody is perfect. No, no, it's not the perfection. It's the, it's the rejection, not the perfection. When you reject the creator, then you will go to the hellfire. If you accept the creation but you are not perfect, you cannot be perfect. I agree with you. So we, as a human being, except the prophets, we cannot be perfect. We are making mistakes as a human being. We are supposed to make mistakes. We are perfectly make mistakes as non-perfect. Do you understand? So what I'm saying is this. We cannot be perfect, but we can, we can, what we can, we can acknowledge the Creator who created us. And try our best. To try our best to disobey him. Ex accept the Creator, try your best to obey the rules and regulations of the Creator. Does it make sense? You see? If there are God, he, he would uh, show uh, if you do that, it's good, and if you do that, it's wrong. Sorry, come again? Uh, he will show what? I think if, if, if there is a God, he will show himself. Yeah. No, 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 no. Um, uh, the action, uh, for example, if I, if I do the party and I don't sleep, I will be sick. I'm very bad. And this is a, a message. You do the wrong uh, way. So you are saying that if, if God exists, if there is a God, He should give the guidance. So, you know, so, uh, God exists uh, by the intermediate of the action. 
I don't understand. Sorry, uh, or, um, how would you say it? Um, uh, for example, our, our action and uh, think are consequences of what? Of what we do and what we think, we think consequences. Okay, I understand. You are saying that we have the sound reasoning and the consequence, what we do, we'll have the consequence. Yeah. Yes. And so God exists, uh, he would show a uh, message, bad consequence and good consequence. Yes. The wrong and the good consequence. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And this is the Quran. You know, God will send the guidance and the guidance is the Quran. God send the books to the prophet. For what? I, I, don't, do, I don't do the ritual of uh, religion. Which, which, which one? I don't do the ritual like the Ramadan. Ramadan? Uh, I, do, I, do, I don't do... Uh, you know what, what is the Ramadan? Sorry, come again? Ramadan. Ramadan. Uh, when you don't eat... Uh, oh, fasting. Fasting, okay. So, uh, then you agree there is a God. Yeah? You agree on this. A, a God. One God, right? You agree? I'm not sure. Okay. So, the point is here. If there is no God who created everything, can you create yourself? Did you create yourself? No. You didn't. Did your mother create yourself? No. Who created your mother? Who created this universe? One God. Do you understand now? I want to be simple with you. Do you understand now? There has to be one creator. Brother, what is think about it. If I say this watch comes from nothing, you will not believe me. You will say some company made it, right? Someone made it. This watch. You know, Native American people. Uh, uh, Indian ne ne never uh, talk about the God and always uh, like, uh, like very well. But the thing is, this is the materialistic thing is very different than the be believing in God. You see, so uh, as the same example, I can give the Dubai is Dubai is a Muslim country and they are growing as well. Then I can say Qatar as well. Qatar, as well. Qatar Dubai, they believe in God. They are Muslim and they are developed as well. And they're more richer than America. You understand? Then, then they are they are more peaceful than American. I think so. It doesn't make any sense. That's the okay. They are doing development by not believing God. It's not like this. It's the opposite. I think the best way I will take is to do good action. Um, how do you define God? Good. How do you define good? How do you understand good? I, I, I think God will pardon me if I don't believe it, but I am uh, acting good. How no. do you know that? No, how do you know? How do you know what is good and what is bad? With uh, consequences. No, you don't have. You can. You can be biased. You can be mistake, right? You can do the mistake, but from your consequence. But if you have the guidance, if God said you, okay, don't murder. If God say, don't do alcohol. Don't take alcohol. If God say, don't do adultery. If God say, don't kill people. If God said, don't tell lie, then you understand lying is bad, killing people is bad, uh, uh, going for gambling is bad, all the things is bad. Because God said it. Do you understand now? Because you need a standard morality from where you can understand what God says and what God didn't say. Why is there always killing people? Who? Uh, terrorists are killing kill people. Who, who killed people? Terrorists. Terrorists. Yeah, terrorist. Uh, radical, radical terrorist uh, religion. Sorry? Radical terrorist. Terrorist doesn't have the religion. In every religion, there are some people who are extremists, like the. the uh, uh, you know, in, in New Zealand, did you remember the. Uh, uh, sorry. Christchurch, Christ Christ yeah, Christchurch Mosque. They killed the numbers of Muslims, hundreds of Muslims by a Christian. So, they are, should I call the. All the, all the Christians are terrorists? No, terrorists are, they don't have that religion. They are the, their religion is terrorism. Do you understand? They are extremists, they are not a part of religion. I, I don't want to take part. I, I don't want to be in a cage. Come again? You don't want to be in a cage? No, I, yes, I, I don't want to... Well, absolute freedom. I don't want to be submissive to rules. Well, to freedom, freedom. Well, wait, wait, no, no, no. Rules of, do, do you think... Do you think you are not following any rules now? Yes, I prefer to follow uh, good words. Good words uh, no, 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 you said you don't want to submit any rules. Do you believe you don't submit any rules now? 
You are following rules. You are following brother. rules of the country. You are rules. following rules of the society. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are I following rules. But no, no rules. Religion like uh, uh, tradition, traditional religion, uh, Ramadan, uh, tradition eating. Oh, I okay, know. okay, I understand it. <laughs> so the first, first of all, if you say you are not believing any rules. <laughs> Who is this people? Who is this people? Bro, what happened? Brother, have some other. That's not right, man. What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong, brother? What? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? Are you mocking him or what? Are you mocking him? What? Are you mocking him? Mocking. We're, we're having a discussion. It's not good, bro. It's not good. You're all laughing. Brother, we're trying to give Dawah. Come on. That was the yeah, that was the of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's not good. Not to be discussive. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. On behalf of them, this, this boys doesn't have adab. Allahu Akbar. A lot of strange people. Here. Yeah, yeah. I see very strange people. Open. Yeah, very strange people, bro. Yeah. Come on. So, anyways, so our discussion was: Are we stay with open, open with uh, religion? Okay, excellent. So, if you are open with religion, why I'm saying is this: two religion cannot be true. You understand? One religion has to be true. Because the, if I say there is a uh, there is a bottle and you were saying there is no bottle, both cannot be true at the same time because there is two contradictory statement. If I say you, if I if I say you have three hand and you were saying you have two hand, who is who is right? You are right, right? You have two hands. You don't have three hands. I am wrong. If someone say okay, you are right and you are right, both of them right. doesn't make sense. So why I'm saying we believe in one God, one true God. He created everything. He created you. He created me. He created him, he created everything, whatever we can see, we can't see. And this God sent the guidance, which is Quran. And if you follow the guidance of the Creator, we will get the eternal freedom, the freedom you want. Eternal freedom, whatever you want, you can do. Paradise. In the hereafter, in paradise. If you follow the guidance of the Creator, if you accept one true Creator, if you accept Allah, and if you follow the guidance of the Allah, then you will get the ultimate freedom. This world, you can't get freedom because you have the social construction, you have the social law, you have, you, you, you have all the laws. Good, good will be a psychopath. Uh, oh, I'll always be judged. And you, you go to A and A go to paradise. Brother, 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 God judges justly. God is, is the not ultimate that judge. There injustice. Is no, God is not is injustice. No, in this world, there is no ultimate yeah. justice. Understand, my brother. I mean, you have murderers and rapists that get away with things. Yeah, you know, politicians that get away with things. In this world, there is no such thing as ultimate justice. Ultimate <coughs> justice is in the hereafter, my brother. You know what I mean? In this world. Anyways, do you, do you read? The uh, you need uh, French Quran, right? You can read the French Quran. You from you from France, right? Where are you from, France? Yeah. Good. So you can read French Quran in your language. You can read it, right? But uh, I, I prefer read more intellectual, uh, more uh, philosophy. So are you not saying? Are you saying that Quran is not the intellectual but description? Or I see. I see. Intellectual book. God. I know. I not a white uh, um, religion uh, book. It is human. Human. Uh, human uh, white. Okay, but, 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 no, no. Human didn't read. Human didn't read the Quran. Bible was written by the human being. Bible was written by the John, Mark, Matthew, Luke, and John. Quran was not. Quran came from the Creator, one true Creator. He, Quran is the word of the God. Do you understand? Quran is not something fiction, someone wrote it. No. Quran is the word of God. Quran is the deep. Allah's Allah the creators he give the guidance through the Quran to the to the human being in the Quran this is the word of God it's not written by the human being so don't be mistaken Bible was the written by human being Mark written Matthew, Matthew wrote it Luke wrote it we don't know who Mark Matthew Luke, Luke and John we don't know them by the way so people wrote it but the Quran no 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 it's not the written by the people I think, I think every religion have to respect each other no, that's fine. We respect. That's fine. We respect like We respect each other. It's, it's not a big issue. But I cannot respect. I can respect you as a human being. But I cannot respect if you say there is three God. You can. You don't respect people. Who don't believe in God. No, 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 no. no. You, you don't understand my point. I respect you as a human being. Do you understand? But I cannot respect the idea there is three God. Do you understand no, now? God became a man. Or God became a man. God is uh, uh, taking breastfeeding. Do you understand? So I believe you as a human being. I respect you as a human being. As as the as you have your own choice to what you if, want. If, if you have your own choice, whatever you want, right? 
but I don't respect the you know theological point of view which goes against my theology. You understand now? So that, that's what my position. Brother, have a read of the Quran in, in your language, French Quran. Just have a read of it. You know, we're not forcing you. If you have num, uh, if you want, we can exchange the number or email. Then we can contact further. I can give you the some materials to read. Is it okay? Do you want? No. That's fine. Okay, that's fine. So look into it. We're in conversation. No worries. We prefer fine. conversation. We can have a phone conversation if you want. Yeah. All right. Yeah. No Take problem. Over. Take care of yourself. All right. Let's do All right, no problem. Take care of yourself. Okay. Uh, so we had an interesting discussion with a, with a gentleman, a, a French gentleman, who was probably agnostic or on the fence when we asked him if he believes in a creator or not. And we gave him the logical, sound uh, evidence for believing in a creator. Audhu billah. Audhu billah. Sorry about that. Yeah, up, up just wrap it up. So we tried to, uh, we, he, he, he started getting convinced that there is a creator. And then we tried to convince him that why well, the Quran is the, 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 the divine uh, scripture from Allah and, it's a, and, and Islam is the one true religion. And he didn't seem uh, interested afterwards because he seemed very confused and very on the fence about a lot of things. But we make dua for him. Dua for him. Yeah. Allah guide them and guide us. Amen. Jazakallah khairan. Assalamu alaikum.